Hello guys, welcome back to Raze Gaming Interpretations, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to monitor FPS and record with MSI Afterburner. So basically today I'm just going to be showing you guys how to do game benchmarking, which I will be doing once I get a better GPU and I get a capture card. So basically what you guys want to do is download MSI Afterburner and Reva Tuner's statistics server. But all you need to do is once you have it downloaded, it should be here. Just go ahead and click on it, click on both of them, and you'll see these. Now you need to make sure that you follow everything I do. You need to make sure that you have Reva Tuner downloaded and MSI Afterburner. But you already know you should already have MSI Afterburner downloaded. Now basically what you would need to do is you need to first go to settings and you need to go to on-screen display. If you don't have Reva Tuner statistics server downloaded, you will not see on-screen display. I learned the hard way. I was a little confused. I was like, how are people doing game benchmarks with GT, GT 1030? But I literally can't find vi video capture to save my life. Well, I found it. And if you actually go over here, it'll say video capture. Now, I'm not gonna go too much into this. Just know that you just copy everything I have here. These are the best settings for quality and for performance to make sure that nothing lags. So you just copy all of these. You can do your own video capture hotkey. I use control F12, but yeah, you guys can see right here, copy everything that I have. I'll scroll down, copy everything that I have. And that's pretty much it for video capture. And I'll, I'll go over it a little bit. So capture mode, make sure it's on mixed. If you want it to be connected to a certain application, just put it on 3D application. If you want to record like desktop videos, which I don't know why you would do it with MSI Afterburner, but you can, I would, I would personally just use OBS, but make sure it's on that. Make sure it's on NV12 compression. That's the best video format for gaming. Container format, make sure it's on AVI. 100% quality make sure it's at that unless you don't have a good GPU then you can put it at I don't know 50 whatever you want frame size I would put that 720p if you don't really care too much about quality or you want it to look good with decent performance frame rate you want to make sure that it's at whatever your frame rate in game is so that you'll get the best um, performance in your video um, you make sure frame lit is a uh, frame limit is always on one or uh, disabled the audio source and make sure that this is at wasapi playback device make sure both of them are at wasapi playback device now on screen display this is where you need to pay a lot of attention now you guys can see there is a lot of things to do here what you want to do is you want to make sure that you just have this checked and you want to go to monitoring now right here you'll see that it says um gpu temper uh, temperature and frame rate now you guys see it says nosd and that means on-screen display. So the, basically the way you wanna do this is you want to just, um, you want to click on it and then you wanna go find show in on-screen display. So if I take this off, it'll it'll take away in OSD. If you uh, turn it on, it'll show in OSD. So basically anything you put show in on the screen display, whatever game that you're playing on, you will see that. So if I wanted to see my GPU usage, if I want to see my FB usage, my video usage, bus usage, memory usage, all I have to do is just click on it and do show in on screen display. Now, once you do that, you basically just want to make sure that that's uh, all the stuff on and everything that you want is configured correctly. And then you just want to apply. Now, once you have that set up, now you want to go over to Reva Tuner's statistics server. Now you wanna make sure that show on screen display is on and you wanna make sure that it always starts with Windows. Well, you don't, it doesn't necessarily have to always start with Windows. Just make sure that you have it, that you remember to turn it on. And basically whenever you close a game or if it's closed for too long, it'll actually close the app altogether. So you just make sure that whenever you're, before you play a game, turn it on and then play the game and then it should show your FPS. I'm not gonna do any recordings of me actually playing the game with it just know that it will work i want my recordings to have the best quality so i don't want to play a game and it's really laggy but you guys can see you, you can add apps and it'll basically once it sees that an app is open then it will focus on that app only i just keep it on global and then i put application detection level on low the best rendering mode is uh, raster 3d unless you want to use vector i I'm, i honestly don't know the difference between them between them but uh, you can do whatever you want and then you can also move this. I would just keep it at um, a top corner. That's the smartest place to put it instead of putting it in the middle screen. That, that would just be weird. But yeah, just keep it at the corner and that's pretty much it. 
if you guys ended up enjoying this video please make sure to subscribe like and turn notifications and if you guys want a part two on this video on me actually doing a game benchmark and showing you guys how to get to work please get this video to 30 likes because it is going to take a minute for me to even get all that set up. I would need to get a better GPU, which I will be getting an RX 550 4 gigabytes. And I will also be getting a video card. I'm thinking about getting a Elgato. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.